Good day, beautiful souls. This is Isis, and I help people alter their realities by enhancing their vibrational frequencies. Today I was listening to a little girl who was making a description of her emotions regarding the falling of leaves. And then I decided, you know, I'm going to research why do leaves lose, uh, why do trees lose their leaves? Sorry. Why do trees lose their leaves? Um, because I know that in classes we learned about photosynthesis and osmosis, but it has nothing to do with that. It actually has to do with the tree making a choice. Apparently, in more recent studies, it's been discovered, trees recognize that they will be in loss of water in the winter months. So in that, they decide to cut off the water supply to the leaves and let the leaves fall, knowing that they will grow new leaves, kind of like us losing our hair. However, for a leaf and a tree, they used to have a companionship, a friendship. And that was what the little girl was talking about. She said, I'm so sad and it is my fault that I lost you guys. Now you are lost forever. In this, it made me realize her spirit at one stage she remembers when she was a tree. And as we know, the spirit is an infinite spiritual being. And you in the present are having a temporary human experience as where the tree is having a temporary tree experience. The rabbit is having a temporary rabbit experience. Whatever it is that is in living conditions. That's pretty amazing. And she said, I lost you guys. I lost you guys. So it means even the leaves, each leaf has an infinite spiritual being attached to it with a temporary leaf experience. Isn't that mind blowing? And remember in the Bible, it says, God knows even the fall of a leaf. So this is all in relation and correlation with us being a God, a part of the one God. Um, and all of us at a temporary stage, having the opportunity to experience different forms of life. So when you are feeling low frequency levels of unhappiness, unless you're from that level of consciousness, from the soul spirit being that you actually truly are, please, if you're from a higher source, try to reach the higher frequencies. I believe that primarily everyone who watches my channel and has subscribed is from higher source. But I need you guys to realize and recognize not every one is from higher source. We all come from the one source and the one source has positive and negative. In order for the positive to survive, the negative must exist in the present. Therefore, when you know people and you're like, wow, I'm in shock that this is such a negative experience and this person is often a negative creature. They may find joy in the negativity. I have not met many people like that, but I have met one I can think of in particular where they actually enjoyed giving pain. That was their pleasure and joy, happiness, love, um, compassion, mercy. That was their pain. Uh, let's think about serial killers. They definitely came from somewhere and it's not because, what was that guy's name? I know it. Oh my goodness, I forgot. He was from Washington State. He killed a lot of women up there uh, along the I-5. And then he escaped. I, I can't remember which killer he is. Um, but when he was three years old, 
and three years old is when you stop start like letting go of the past coming into the present um he put knives all around his aunt and she said oh there's just something wrong with him but no he was having a past life regression memory at that moment and um he often had fantasies about doing things which were negative in our ideas, which is unfortunate. So uh, just note, if you know somebody who's a little bit not like you, you might want to let that go because I'm not saying they're that bad, but they definitely didn't come from your realm. So you want to let people go who don't have the same vibe as you do. I wish you all a beautiful day.